What is a lesson you have imparted to others? Oh man. <laughs> yeah, that one's a, a little. Different thing, that right? one's a different thing. I like the endurance question. <laughs> Let's go back to the endurance. I have more ideas on endurance. <laughs> Empathy is the ability to understand and share the emotions of others. But how important is it in business? Sub Rosa is a New York design studio that's been around for almost a decade. Recently, the founder and CEO, Michael Ventura, has been thinking about how empathy can play a role in meaningful design. One of the ways they've approached this topic is through a simple card game they've developed that supposedly lets people delve deeper and gain a better understanding of each other. So I'm gonna try it out with the man himself. How this works, we've developed seven archetypes. So okay. the deck has seven different suits, if you will. Okay. And then within each suit, there are seven questions. So 49 okay. cards total. Who archetypes me? Do I archetype myself? You're gonna self-diagnose right now. Oh, We're wow. Do this together. Oh, this is, <laughs> all right. I'll go cultivate a long game strong. Okay. Do you have a, a weakness one you wanna call out now so we can pull a couple cards? Let's go with Sage. Okay. Sage is a weakness, which is living in the moment. We'll start with the cultivator question that you pulled. How do you build endurance? Like mental endurance? Take it how you will. I guess, maybe two ways. Can I answer this two ways? Mm -hmm. One is I think you just do stuff and then you get better and you can do more of it. Yep. I feel like this is obvious. Um, and then the other thing maybe is just to get excited about something and then you have more energy naturally. Mm -hmm. Did I answer that right? There is no right answer obviously, but for what's interesting is a lot of the time when people get asked a question from the section of the deck, that they identify as a strength, yeah. they have the exact same reaction you do. They're like, this is so obvious. Oh. Everyone I guess that would it. make sense. Yeah, if I'm, it's a strength. Okay, but or it's if, a perceived strength, so I have like my mental right, schema got all that. set. Okay. Exactly, but got if it. someone who perceived this as a weakness got asked the same question, they might say, I don't understand the question. So huh. now we'll go to a card you've identified as a weakness and see what happens there. Ooh, okay. So for the sage, what is a lesson you have imparted to others? What's a lesson I've imparted to others. Hmm. Once someone was asking me about having a child and they were like, you know, I don't know. And you know, whatever. And I'm just like, I think when you do, it changes your worldview. And I could have known that going in. And I don't know if my worldview would have been changed differently, like mm -hmm. in another way. And he said, oh, you know, and I didn't really remember the conversation. And later he had a kid, he's like, you're right. I feel like I would get to know myself a lot better in mm -hmm. this. I'm not sure if I would grow more empathy for other people or not. We've also found that just doing this even with friends, right? you learn more about them in 30 minutes of doing this than you might in three years of knowing each other. I can totally see that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if I handed this to my coworkers, I mean, aside from any HR, like being present, <laughs> I, I mean, it would definitely challenge our relationships in a positive way, I would yeah. think, right? Like, Absolutely. In a revealing way. Yeah. If you think about most design, like a lot of the core of it really is empathy and understanding other people and creating a product for those other people. So the idea of actually building that into your business plan does make a lot of sense. The game actually says no small talk on the box. And I imagine if you want to eliminate some of that like conversation about the weather from your life, this game would be good for you or your company.